I mean, finding out about it in a letter. A letter! Oh, the personal touch, was it? Yeah. Well, it could have been worse, couldn't it? Could have had the chap she actually slept with coming round to your house and telling you. Oh, yeah, mate. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well. Uh, would anyone like to tell me what's wrong with this picture? What do you... Oh, yeah! Get round the one who's getting divorced! <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, I, I, I completely lost focus then. What I meant to say was, there's always an upside, yeah? Yeah. And I know it's horrible and everything, but, you know, once you sign the papers, then you'll be able to move on, won't you? Marlo, Donna phoned, I am so sorry. You are? Well, of course I am. Well, that's, that's very good. So, forgive me, what, weren't you the one who went down there and told her to get on with proceedings? Yes, I know, but... Well, it's all brought it home to me. I won't be your mother-in-law anymore. Bob! See? <clears throat> Upside. I knew there'd be one. Marlon, here. Yeah. Quick word. I thought you might like to give this bloke a ring. Tenant and Hyde. Solicitors. Best divorce lawyers in Yorkshire. Thanks. Yeah, ask for Derek Hyde. Yeah, mention my name. He knows who I am. Is that because you've given him so much work? Look, it's important to be practical. There's practical? And there's keeping your divorce lawyer's business card in your wallet? Yeah. As it happens, it is a constant reminder for me not to take Viv for granted. And does she know about it? Viv, I mean. Because, considering your track record... What? Put it away. Why? Put it away. Oh, oh no, I'm away. scared. I'm scared. You take it. Take the card. Take the card. You lot smirking at? Uh, no, what we? Nothing. No, no. He was just—he was cheering me up. That's all. So. What's that? What's what? Hmm. 